Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Benedict Construction, yet another terrific locally owned company, folks. Butch Jones has built the Tennessee program brick by brick. Benedict Construction built our set brick by brick, and they've remodeled homes all over East Tennessee brick by brick. If you've got a remodeling project, do yourself a favor, Benedict Construction. All right, want to welcome in another VFL, first time on our show, Jason Allen, yes, back sir. with us. Very glad, glad to have you with us back in town. Yes, sir. Uh, former Dolphin, Texan, Bengal, seven-year NFL career, pretty strong there. Now, you did ask, you did come in and say, now, trash talking from your era was a little different. So tell me, what's different about the trash talking? I think more so when we were playing the trash talking, it was on the field and stayed on the field. A lot of times, these this time you have guys are going to Twitter, Instagram, and and to the media with it. I recall playing against Florida and Georgia and those type of teams, and where with Chad Jackson or Andre Caldwell, I wanted to try to get them out of the game. If I could get in them head, get in their head, and talk trash to them or about them, and get out of the game, it was to my advantage. But there's a time and place for it, and. We never did go in the media and talk about us. We kept it on the field, yeah. and after the game, we went our separate ways. And the same thing in the NFL as well. Well, and if you do it off, the, if you do it on the field, not in the media, there aren't television shows making fun of you the next day when you lose. Like <laughs> we are. <laughs> All right, uh, let me run through. I'm just going to throw out some names. You know, we are on SportsSource.tv on the internet, so maybe they're watching some of this in Gainesville. Um, I want to throw out some names. Uh, we talked about Colton Jumper already. He's taken so much heat. I have no problem saying that, you know, the former walk-on is always a concern for me out there. Hey, way to shut me and a lot of people up. Tremendous, <laughs> tremendous game for Colton Jumper. Especially that second half, you saw his confidence growing. He's out there making plays. He's getting guys in the right spots. Doing Will, I'll start with you on defense. Uh, Colton Jumper. Uh, yeah, I think uh, excellent job because Florida was motioning guys around, moving, trying to get the wrong matchups a lot of times. And he was doing a great job of adjusting and getting guys in the right place at the right time. Yeah. So you saw that a lot of times of him even moving defensive tackles and defensive linemen and saying, no, get over here. So he really took he took control. And that's what you need a middle linebacker who's making those calls to be able to do. They've got to be respected. They've got to be able to hear, get, get guys and say, get over there and have those guys do it. He did a great job of that yesterday. Let's talk about Derek Barnett. Another guy on the defense who in the first half had some people saying, is he, did he even show up today? Uh, he showed up in the second half. He took that game over. Uh, thoughts on Derek Barnett and his performance yesterday just lights out in the second half. Game changer. Yep. Game changer, man. I mean, he said, he looked like the, the Will Old Street Chuck Smiths out there on that end. <laughs> Went around those tackles, baby. I mean, he believed that we might eat sweets in Knoxville on game day, but it's not donuts. It wasn't going to be a dozen wins for Florida, baby. It was going to be ice cream. <laughs> Tennessee ice cream. And we got to win. Derek Barnett, great game, brothers. from the purr. Your thoughts on Derek Barnett? Yes, sir. <laughs> as, as a, Let's see you top that. <laughs> <laughs> top that to top. Yeah, the ice <laughs> cream. <laughs> Sterling and I will sit together uh, upstairs, and that was uh, our, our rally that we was passing on ice cream sandwiches to everyone, and <laughs> we rallied back from eating ice cream sandwiches throughout That's the whole right. game. But I think, like Sterling said, to echo what he said, you want guys that are going to be game changers. You know, and every team needs four or five guys on the offensive side, special team and defensive units, they're going to be game changers. And uh, that's exactly what he did yesterday. He came in and made some, some plays that – you know, that the defense needed. And uh, he was the definitely the game changer. And what really excites me the most about it is the, the, the fact that everybody's playing together. They're working together, they're making some mistakes, but they're not getting on each other's nerves and not, they're not getting each other's faces. They're coming off the field, talking about it, making sure they're working together and lining up each other. So it's really neat to see the kind of, the kind of group that we're seeing develop into one unit because once again, this, is, this type of philosophy was not built in a month, in a, a couple of years. It's built in a while. So Absolutely. we have a great guy take control of this uh, this ship of ours, and it's really exciting. Can, Can I take my help? Oh. Yeah, I take I take my hat off to the guys that who uh, came in for the guys who were injured. Yeah. Uh, coming into the type of atmosphere of playing against Florida, we're playing over 100,000 uh, fans in the, uh, in the stadium and getting those jitters out of your system. And uh, I tip my hat off to those guys. To and did you see job. those guys that, that they were taking over by? They came over and, and talked to them. Let them understand, watch out for this, be careful for, for that. Yeah. That's teamwork. Yeah. Exactly. Will, you were nodding your head about Derek Barnett very quickly, man. Yeah, just he took away one of the aspects of the game in the first half, the deep ball. Cool. You know, they came out with some coverages that also helped with that. But obviously, when you have a guy that's getting back there, you can't throw the ball very deep right. when you have that time clock running very Game quickly. changer. Let's flip it to the other side. Wide receivers. 
they call themselves wide receiver U. Been saying, let's see it. Okay, Josh Malone showed it. Nice design, putting him in the backfield, had him go out for the pass. Uh, Juwan Jennings is a playmaker. Oh, baby. So that's, that's the guy that I have believed in for a while. He catches the great pass across the middle. It kind of gets some motoring for the sure. first time. And then the the, ball the ballet almost drop it, bobble it, catch it down <laughs> yeah. the sideline over Tabor, <laughs> touchdown. Juwan Jennings and Josh Malone, Sterling Hinton. Come on, baby. That, that, those are the type plays that Tennessee receivers make daily. Now they're coming around to it. Now, hopefully we can keep it going on. I love what I saw yesterday. Let's build on that, and we'll be back to that icon wide receiver you at the Mighty Volunteer. Oh, baby. But it's a relationship. Remember this. When you throw the guys, it takes a while to get used to them. You can throw all you want in practice until you don't do it in the game, until you don't re get the re report in the game. Absolutely. It almost doesn't happen, so we're seeing that developing. I just like the fact that they took the ball and they went further. They just didn't get tackled right there. They made the play after the catch right, as well. Right. And that's that'll where right. you really had that. that's really right. where you hadn't seen these guys do that in a while. They actually had those plays yesterday. And we're not, and we're not gonna get into the negative here, but my, it was nice to see what happened every time they'd have two people in the backfield along with Josh Dobbs. Might might be time to start doing that even more. All right. Jalen Hurd will finish with Jalen Hurd. He gets hit in the backfield an awful lot, but the guy winds up with 95, 100 yards week after week. He runs like a wrecking ball out Ooh. there. I don't know if there's anybody that you could – he might embody the fact that this team doesn't quit more than anybody else out there. Did in you my see mind, that just the way he runs. Did you see that 19-yard run going down river? Did yeah. you see that? No, I saw oh, it, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I I everybody else. Else. I we also had one of oh, our oh, – We also had one with 15 guys <laughs> on him. We were coming off the sideline to get him. Five like, missed tackles and mm. still going through. Did you see that? I can't do that. Leading forward and six foot four. Louis <laughs> Terry in the mail, baby. How was that? If you just look at his size – uh, he kind of reminds me of Eddie George. Yes. That type yep. of yeah. physique yeah. that he has and the speed and power he runs with. Uh, it was phenomenal, man, to see him run downhill and making some guys miss here and there as well. And he's definitely he has a bright future ahead of him. Excellent. All right, Jason Allen, you'll be back out in a little while. We'll have a fresh group, I think, next. Yeah, we'll keep some of these guys out here. <laughs> we are going to talk about uh, signature win. What does this do for Butch Jones? We got some of the guys. Boy, they're really lively over there, aren't they? I think they've already had too much morning champagne. Thanks, guys. Come on back.